Hi guys, welcome to yet another episode of Grammatics. Those who are watching it for the first time, please do like, share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. So welcome to the maths class and today we are going to do least common multiple. In short, LCM. Now how to find the LCM? What is LCM and how to find the LCM of two or more given numbers? Now as the name says uh, least common multiple that means if two numbers are given to you you have to write down the multiples around 10 multiples and uh, then you have to sort out the common ones in from both the lines and then you have to take the least number okay so today uh, so that's what uh, least common multiple is about to find the lcm of two or more given numbers you have two methods to do that first one is the prime factorization method and the second one is common division method so we'll be first doing it with finding the multiples then we'll move on to the prime factorization method and finally to the common division method so we can uh, see the simple one lcm of 4 and 6 first you need to find the multiples of 4 Multiples of 4 means you need to write the tables of 4. We will be writing it. It's 20, 24 and the multiples of 6. Okay, now here just you can move on to the common ones. So, you can see 12 is the common number here. Then comes 24 common. So, if you are writing 10, you will be getting some of the common numbers, common multiples there. Then you need to find the least. So, out of 12 and 24, the least is 12. Therefore, LCM of 4 and 6 is equal to 12. This is how you find using the uh, multiples so uh, as we did in hcf uh, so we will be doing uh, using the prime factorization method so this is the prime factorization method so as the name indicates we have to do the prime factorization of the given two or more numbers now we will be taking two numbers find the lcm of 54 and 90 that's what we are going to do now find the lcm of 54 and 90 now how you are going to do first you need to find the prime factors of 54 so divisible by 2 27 3 9 3 3 3, 1. Again here 90, 245, 315, 35, 5, 1. So these are this is the prime factorization of 54 and 90. Now let us see how we can find the LCM here. First you need to write the prime factors of 54 that is 2 into 3 into 3 into 3. And the for 90, it's factors of 90, 2 into 3 into 3 into 5. Okay. Now, uh, you have to pair it up. See the pairs here? So, this is the first one, second one, third one. So, we have paired it. Now, what LCM says is LCM of 54 and 90. is equal to you write the paired numbers 2 into 3 into 3 and then you have also you have to write the unpaired numbers that is 3 into 5 that's equal to 270 so 270 is the lcm of 54 and 90 you have to be very careful here you have to take the paired numbers which have having pairs also you need to take the numbers which don't have pairs and find the product and the product will give you the 
LCM of the given numbers. If you have three numbers, let us see how to find the LCM if you have three numbers given. Okay, now let us see how we can do the, uh, how we can find the LCM of 12, 18 and 24 using the prime factorization method. So, if, again you need to find the prime factors of 12, 2, 6 are 12, 2, 3 is a 6, 3, 1 is a 3, 18, 2, 9 is a 18, 3, 3 is a 9, 3, 1 is a 3, 24, 2, 12, 2, 6, 2, 3, 3, 1. Now, you need to write these uh, factors again. So, 24 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Then 18 is equal to 2 into 3 into 3. Then 12 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3. Now, why it has been written like this? Because it will be easy to pair up the numbers. That is why it has been written like this. Otherwise, it will be you will be finding it difficult to find the pairs. So, as soon as you get the numbers, as soon as you see the factors itself, you have to decide how you are going to write it. If you write it directly like this, it will be easy for you to find the pairs or find the group of numbers. So, see here, <coughs> these two and this three. Okay. Now, first you just group up the numbers which are there, group up the factors which are there in all the three lines. Then you go for the numbers which are there in two lines. So, here you have this and see here 2 and 3, they are independent, they do not have any pairs. So, now how you are going to find the LCM is, LCM is equal to, you just write the three groups there, 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. So, this is how you have it. First you write the factors which are there in all the three lines. Then you write the factors which are there in the two lines and then the other ones which do not have any pairs. And then you find the product. So, the LCM of this when you find the product you will be getting it as 72. So, LCM of 24, 18 and 12 is 72. And this is the prime factorization method that is LCM that is the least common multiple found by uh, doing the prime factorization of the given numbers. So, your next method is the common division method that is common division method to find the LCM of any two or more given numbers. We can take the previous numbers also LCM of 12, 18 and 24. Now, what you are supposed to do is as you did for the prime factorization, you have to write the given numbers separating with commas. In a straight line. Now, again you start with a number or a, you start with a prime factor that can divide the given number. So, here it is 2 6 are 12, 2 9s are 18, 2 12s are 24. Again you can do with 12, 2 3s are 6, 9 is not divisible, you can write 9 there, 2 6 are 12. Again you can do with 2. So, 3 is there, 9 is there, 3 is you have to write that and then again you can do with 3, 1, 3, 1. So, you just go on doing until uh, you do not have any common factors there. So, what is your LCM? LCM is, is equal to you have to write the product of all these here and here all the Divisors. So, it is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 that is equal to 72. This is how you find the LCM using the common division method. So, here how it has been done uh, you just write the numbers given numbers separated by commas and then you start from the least uh, prime factor you divide the numbers and uh, if it is not divisible you have to write it as it is for example here. 2, this 9 is not divisible by 2, so 9 is written as it is. So, you have to complete it till you have undivided numbers there. So, your LCM will be the 
product of the devices as well as the left out numbers at the bottom. So, the product gives the LCM. So, this is how we find the LCM of uh, any two or more given numbers using common division method. So, this is what we did today that is the least common multiple LCM of any two given numbers can be found using the prime factorization method and the common division method. And that is all for today. Thank you and bye.